All right, what's up, family? I'm about to put in some work today. You see, I got five skids of 80-pound concrete. We about, I'm about to be lifting all these, so I ain't got to hit the gym. <laughs> I'm going to be doing this. But anyway, let's get to the point of this video. We're going to do this video because it's going to be dealing with work needs to be done or business you got to deal with other people, relationships, and I'm definitely going to... You want to see why? It's all going to tie in with each other. And that's why I'm going to title this video here, Never Say All. You can never say all. That's, that's a lot of my videos I've done where I've mentioned that. You know, you might have had a bad reaction with a person or a bad response or you, you had a bad dealings with somebody. Now you want to say, oh, man, all white people are this. Man, all, all people of color are this. All Spanish people like this. I, I try not to say black because it's the most dumbest thing. There's no such thing as black. You was named by land base. There's no place called black land. It's the most dumbest thing. Just like there's no land called white land. It's stupid. They're Europeans. But anyway, let's get back to my point. When you are hiring a contractor to do work for you, like I did this video right here, do your homework, like your school teacher taught you when you was a kid. Do your homework, do your due diligence. Don't be just so quick to go with somebody just because you're Spanish, they're Spanish. You're, you're European, they're European. You're Afro diaspora, they're Afro diaspora. Knock it off, it's the most ridiculous, Afro diaspora. It's the most ridiculous thing. And sometimes we see these people all the time. We see them all the time, they get swindled, scam and then they be like, I can't believe they did it. That's why you can, like I said, the title of the video, you can never say all. Cause you know, you got some people sit there and go, oh man, I don't do people, you know, people love to say black. I don't do, I don't do business with, with black people cause you know, they always late and they always, what do you mean all? You can never say all. Just cause you had a bad um, reaction with that no good person, that person is the person who you, you exclude. Matter of fact, that could be the word of the day. As I always love to give you a word of the day, broaden your vocabulary. Exclude. What does the word exclude mean? Another way of saying to deny someone access or privilege or to something. Where you go, nah, I don't want nothing to do with this person. You could never say all. So just because you had a bad, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You, you had a bad uh, reaction. Uh, you had a bad interaction with this person. Experience. Now you want to, huh? A bad experience. There you go. Thank you, man. Just because you had a bad experience with this black person, the African diaspora, because you had a bad experience with that person, you can't say all people of color like that. Just because you had a bad experience with this Spanish person, with this European, you can't say, man, all white people, man, all Europeans. No, you that person is an idiot. That person is a jerk off. That person is an irresponsible. But you can't dare. You can never say all. It's the most ridiculous thing. And if you are doing that, you, with maturity, you need to correct that because it's the most foolish thing for you to any time put everybody all in the same bunch because of one messed up individual. I don't care if it was one, two, or three. Just because them three, remember, even in the Bible, remember when they went to Sodom and Gomorrah? Remember when, when they spoke to Jesus, they said, when he was coming back, uh, God said he was going to destroy the town, right? And then remember what? what who was it that spoke? Who, who um, didn't he say? He said, who was it? Abraham? Who, who's the person with the? Um, whoever it was, I forgot. But remember, you see, I'm just doing it off the off the fly. But remember when they was coming back, they he he said, but but God, what if there are one good? Because he said it's all bad people. He said, but what if there's one good person in the town? And and then God said, if there is one good person, I won't destroy it. And then the person thought, see, he couldn't exclude everybody. So he said, well, what if there's one good person? Because he was worried. I don't want you to destroy everything just because of one bad person. And then God said, I won't destroy if there's one good person. And then he, he thought about it. There's a lot of people there, man. He said, but God, what if there are three good people there? He said, if there are three good people, I won't destroy. And he kept rising the numbers because he knew you can't never say all. You can never say all because these group of people, there be a good person here or there. You can't, you can never say all. Watch this. Let's talk about relationships. How many times you have heard somebody, I've known people personally just like this. They, they'd be in a relationship with somebody, right? And then the relationship go terribly wrong. And no, they'll say something like this. Yo, man, I don't mess with Spanish chicks no more, man. Because, yo, they be bugging, man. They be getting all loud. Yo, they be all acting all rude and rowdy. Man, she scratched up my car. Man, Spanish chicks, they be on that bull crap, man. I don't mess with them jokers, man. I'm telling you, man, don't, don't mess with no Spanish female. I'm telling you, man, they ain't no good. What do you mean? What do you mean, don't mess with no Spanish chick? 
Listen, see how this fool excluded all Spanish chicks because he had a bad experience with Gloria. See, he had a bad experience with Gloria. Now he want to say all Spanish women? See, we right back to the Sodom and Gomorrah thing. You get what I'm saying? And we right back to that. You cannot say all because you had a bad experience with her. Because now you go, but yo, man, why you say you're all Spanish? He's I'm telling you, man, when I first, first got with her, man, she was all good. What you mean? Well, yo, man, yo, I'm telling you, man, she used to buy me outfits, she used to buy me gifts. Yo, you know what I'm saying? She baked the pie for my mom, you know what I'm saying? Yo, man, she was so lovely, man. She was on time with everything, you know what I'm saying? But then all of a sudden, she started tripping, being possessive, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, no, 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 no. She was a bad apple. That don't mean all Spanish women. And for all you women out there, when y'all come across a man, y'all be all talking about some, oh, I ain't never, I ain't never messing with her. Oh, White, white guys. You want to stop saying white, European. I ain't never, but you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. I ain't never messing with no white European person no more. Yo, they all bad. All white men, they ain't nothing. They garbage. That's bull crap. No, you just chose a bad one. See, let, 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 let's say, why, why did you choose that one in the first place? Huh? Let's, let's deal with that. You know why you chose them? I'm gonna tell you why you chose them. Because when you got one, you said, yo, girl, oh man, he was fine, girl. He was fine. You know what I'm saying? And, um, he had a fine car, and um, you know, he had money. He was always spending money on me, girl. Yeah, yeah, see, you didn't get with him for the reasons you should have, such as his character. You got with him for all materialistic things. See what I'm saying? Like you, you, get, you get, with the, get with the African diaspora. The black guy, y'all love to say black. There's no land on the map called black land. It's the most stupidest thing. White person, black person. It's European, African diaspora. But anyway, let's go with black, since y'all love to say black, right? Girl, why did you get with that black guy in the first place? See, now you want to say, oh, black men, they ain't no good, man. They ain't do this, they ain't do that, man. They don't spend time with their kids, man. They uh, He put his hands on me, he, he be verbally put me down. Man, girl, he ain't no good. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, he was no good. You cannot say all like the title of the video. You could never say all because of this bad person. Because now we go back to why you got with him in the first place. Let me tell you why you got with him in the first place. Because when you seen him somewhere, you was like, ooh, girl, you was with your girlfriends. And your girlfriends go, ooh, girl, you see him, he fine, girl. And then when, when you thought second about it, your girlfriend souped you up by saying, girl, if you don't get with him, I'm going to get with him, girl. And you go, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no, I'm going to get him. And you jump over there and go, I'm going to get him. Girl, he fine. Girl, he got a six-pack. Ooh, girl, he's so fine. I love his braids. Oh, my God, you see his car, girl? Ooh, girl, he got money. Ooh, girl, 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 girl. All this nonsense. You see what I'm saying? You got with him for everything that don't make sense sometimes that's what we do in life we gotta make sense out of nonsense see this when you get mature but one thing's for sure is never say all like the title of the video you could never say all what did i say the word of the day exclude so don't exclude remember what exclude mean to deny someone access or privilege see what i'm saying don't never exclude a group of people based on your immature uh, reasonings. Like I said, if you're doing, I don't care, you're doing plumbing work, electrical work, building for your house, and you say, no, nah, I, I don't mess with them, them them white contracts, they ain't no good. I don't mess with them black contracts. I don't mess with them Spanish contracts, man. What are you talking about? You could never say all. You gotta you gotta do your homework, like I told you earlier. What did, you, what did your school teacher do, tell you? Do your homework. Stop copying off of uh, your, your, your buddy next to you. Do your due diligence, do your homework. When you're looking up that contractor, see, we live in the internet world now. Look for reviews, go on their website, go up on the reviews. Now, let's be honest, let's be smart here. When you're checking those reviews, you do know most reviews are written by AIs now, so they phony. So you gotta go down, you gotta be sporadic and go around. Look for the bad reviews, those are more than likely the good reviews. And a lot of the other reviews are written by the coworkers themselves. But go down and keep going down until you find some real ones. Go by that. Find somebody in your neighborhood. Did, did they use them? Call them up, have a conversation with them. You have to do your homework. You want to see some of their actual work. But one thing you can't say, oh, no, I don't mess with this contractor business because everybody at that business is no good, man. I heard that company's no good. No, 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 no. No, you just had a bad experience with one of their employees. See? Like I said, let's, let's, let's go back to the Sodom and Gomorrah. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Do y'all remember that story? Remember, when they was leaving, God said he's going to destroy the whole town. Because everybody's bad. And that's when the, 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 the wise man or whatever, whoever, put in the comments, folks. I forgot the, how I go. 
they was trying to save some of the people because they said you can't save all. So if there's one good person, you're going to save it. If there's two, if there's three. But one thing we know for sure, you can't never say all. Some people are just in a bad position amongst bad people. But they might be a good person. Look, this is a good bag right here. All these restaurants got wet on it. They had a hole in this bag. I had a hole in that bag. I had a hole in this bag. But this bag was good. This one was good and this one was good. Well, I'm going to say the whole thing is bad. You can never say all. But I want y'all to definitely remember them relationship stuff. As you get older... You must choose wiser. Make more wiser decisions. Stop picking something on your feelings. Get to know a person. Know their character. That's how you judge. You don't say, ooh, girl, he was fine. Girl, he was so fine. That's why I got with him, girl. And then the girls up here, and then the guys up here talking about, boy, yo, I'm telling you, boy. Yo, man, she was bad as heck. You know what I'm saying? Yo, word up. Yo, she had a bad ass. She had a bad ass tight. She had a pretty face tight waist. You know what I'm saying? Yo, she was fine. That's why I got with her. She was fine. Guess what? Isn't that the same girl that scratched your car, put Clorox all on your clothes, empty out your bank account? Yeah, man, she was tripping, man. I don't mess with none of them Spanish girls no more. What? No, 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 you, you're foolish. Knock it off, man. So, hey, man, instead of keep going, in closing, what I would say to a lot of y'all, as we get older, we get wiser, more smart. A statement I love to say, a lot of times, our parents and grandparents planted a very wise, knowledgeable seed in us. And sometimes it takes longer to grow in others than it do some others. But that seed is planted in you. You gotta water it and pay attention to it. Peace.